Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? And the statesman, because he's so great, thinks he's trade as honest as mine. Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. Both against roads and for I already have. It is but fitting that we should protect them in carriage seats since we live by them. So, Black Mall at St. Good of Trier comes on in the afternoon. To release the and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. A thousand pardons. So sorry. My apologies. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. No lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what it would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may venture to book him. Poor Tom Gag. Forty pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. So I can get more of my estate in England. Betty has brought more goods into our lofty here than any five of the gang. And in truth, it is a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may be the common course of business, live at 12 months longer. I love to let women escape. A good sportsman always lets the end of our children's life was the green of the game depends on. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There's nothing to be got by the death of women. Except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fine woman. It was to her I was obliged for my education. And to say a bold ah. word, she hath trained up more young fellows to the business than the gaming table. Tony Filch, my observation is right. We the surgeons are more beholden to women than all the professions beside. So, Black Wall at St. Word of. To make them easy one way or other. When a gentleman is long, penitence may break his spirit ever after. Besides, certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. 
but all the way. But it's a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort. I've got a bit of stage fright. A little Dutch courage. Now I talk about me for a decent execution against next session. I ain't a lazy rogue by whom one can get nothing till he's hanged. A register of the gang. Crook-fingered Jack. A year and a half in the service. Let me see how much the stock goes to his industry. One, two, three, four, five gold, and seven silver ones. A mighty clean mannered fellow. Burning off the Sixteen snake boxes, five of them true gold. Six dozen of handkerchiefs, four silver elven swords, half a dozen of shirts, three tie periwigs, and a piece of broadcloth. Those indications should Considering these are only the fruits of his leisure hours. should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. 
They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Thank <laughs> you. 